another beautiful thing to see. I, I don't even know where the sloths have their fingers. Do they have fingers or are they just uh, grabbing on with their nails? Very strange looking hands, whatever they are. Uh, this is dolphins bubbling over with excitement during play date with sloth at the aquarium. And there's a little embedded video there. They, the uh, caretaker ha carries him with, on a branch and the sloth is hanging onto a branch. Now, and uh, the zoo animals are typically used to being stuck into their enclosures where they spend their days being the object of attention for thousands of visitors. But as the zoos are closed, the aquariums across the world, life has calmed down drastically, leaving many animals bored with their new routines. So now a Texas aquarium is giving their creatures an altogether new experience by giving some of their own residents a tour of their facility so that the animals could interact with one another. The Texas State Aquarium has a vibrant, diverse collection of sea and land creatures, ranging from exotic fish. And in one of the uh, uh, frames of this video, you can see seahorses as well in there. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, ranging from exotic fish to vampire bats, keel-biting toucans, Caribbean flamingos, a number of different tortoises, as well as sharks and dolphins. They're not in the same tank, of course, because you know dolphins are enemies with sharks. So wherever you have sharks, um, where you see dolphins, you will not see sharks, and that's in those areas. Now, last Friday, uh, because sharks don't have bones, they have cartilage, and the um, the way the uh, dolphin attacks the shark is that it uh, uh, hits him with the, the uh, um, with its nose into its middle section, and uh, the dolphin uh, the uh, shark dies that way. Now, last Friday. Uh, staff of the zoo decided to take their sloth, Chico, to meet some of the bottlenose dolphins at the Gulf of Mexico exhibit. And their interaction, which was shared on Facebook, shows the intelligent sea ant mammals, Lico and Schooner, bursting with excitement as they encountered the arboreal mammal, likely for the first time in their lives. Who knows what they thought when they saw it? Chico, for his part, seemingly hardly excited by the encounter. Instead, the lethargic three-year-old tree dweller seemed like he wanted to take a nap. <laughs> snapshots of the meeting. They always look as if they want to take naps, but anyway. Snapshots of the meeting have since gone viral with the post being shared 10,000 times and thousands of people posting comments. One Facebook user wrote, was Chico sleeping the entire time? Love this. Thank you for bringing us a few smiles and some good laughs. Another said, what fun enrichment. These pictures are amazing. A spokesperson for the aquarium told Board Panda that play dates are not out of the ordinary. And they explained, as some of our most popular animals, it seems an obvious choice for our sloths and dolphins to get a chance to see each other while we were temporarily closed. We have another sloth, Xena, but on that day she was more interested in sleeping <laughs> than meeting the dolphins. Anyway, our dolphins had have had the opportunity to meet several other animals over the years, including baby gators, an African serval, a red-tailed boa, and others. They're almost always very curious about the other aquarium residents. In the meantime, it's perfectly understandable if we humans confined to our homes as we are feel a tiny bit of jealousy <laughs> for the residents of the Texas State Aquarium visiting each other. This by Elias Murat on Mind Unleashed Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Capota, and we also
help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.